the last main tool that I was going to cover was this elevation benchmark. I've given you a layer for doing elevations. Here it is here. So the elevation benchmark, I like using uh, the US version rather than the ISO version. I'm just going to show you how you use it. You can click here, move across, click, and it puts a height on for you. Click, come across, click, and so it measures the height. Now I've got zero, I've got this floor here zero, so you can see it's measuring each one of those, giving you the height. I think it's quite neat because you can go to a, a head of the window, gives you the head of the window. I'm going to go to the other side of the building now, do the same sort of thing. Elevation benchmark. Now I quite like having the scale factor smaller and the text uses your active text size. So if you go format text, change it to 12 point, you can see it's much better. So let's change our text first before we do too much. So set this the font size that you want. I don't need to save that. And now the next time you put in a elevation benchmark, it should have the new font size, which is the same as we had before. But at least from now on, they all have the same font size. Now one of the other things with the elevation benchmark is you can use a control point. So if I move this control point and stick it, say, on the ground there, this is now measuring from that control point. So if I move this benchmark up, unfortunately you notice the control point moves, so you've got to move this back down. Now that control point doesn't work when you come to the other side for some reason. So if I go there to there, and I say use control point, and my control point is there, you notice I've got minus heights here. I think that's a bug that needs to be fixed. 